And we are expected to learn more tomorrow about the investigation into the Michigan State University shooting. So far, law enforcement saying that the 43 year old gunman who did live in Lansing had no ties to the university. Neighbors telling police that they regularly heard him firing a weapon in his backyard. Three students were killed in the attack Monday night. Five injured students remain in the hospital in critical condition. Today, students went to the state capitol in Lansing calling for stricter gun laws. Kaylee Marantet is live close to campus tonight. Kaylee, this had to be pretty emotional seeing so many students coming together, hoping to make a difference and as they say, make it stop. It was emotional, Melissa. Hundreds of Michigan State University students and people just coming from across the state saying they want the change. Now lawmakers need to make it happen. Talk about what's going to happen to make this world safer. The Capitol lawn was a different shade of green Wednesday, filled with MSU students hoping lawmakers inside the Capitol can hear them. Tell me why all of us are under the age of 30 coming up here to speak because our friends are dead. I thought once I graduated high school, I would be safe. I wouldn't be in a position where I would ever have to experience this. And then it happened. Parents, too. When we drop our kids off at school and they get out and we say, I love you, we all wonder if it might be the last time before we get a text. Right now, People are saying we have to protect ourselves against each other. Why does it have to be an us versus them? We need to become an us. Many saying this feeling is all too familiar. A feeling Oxford High School students had November 30th, 2021. Some of my class 2022 friends who survived the shooting at Oxford High School 14 months and two weeks ago went through their second mass shooting at Michigan State University. I'm tired of texting my friends and asking if they are safe. Two nights ago, I was taken back to the 30th, experiencing something I thought I would never have to go through again. Go green! Go white! For the first time, the MSU Union on campus, one of the buildings closed from the shooting, was opened up to students so they could come in and get their items that they left there Monday when the shooting happened. Again, mental health resources are being offered on campus to students and also anybody in the community that may need it. Reporting live in East Lansing, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11. Kaylee, thanks. We'll continue covering this deadly shooting as we learn more information. We'll bring you any new developments as we find them out right here on the air and online.